After our field trip to Farnborough last week, Latest in Defence is back in the studio to catch up on what's been happening in military technology while we had our eyes on the skies. In this edition, VA Systems has released time-lapse footage of the first Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier being floated out into open water. The US Marines have tamed a fearsome four-legged robot to help carry kit, and DARPA demonstrates a bullet that always hits its target. First, let's head up to Rosyth. It's sometimes hard to grasp the sheer enormity of the Royal Navy's Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier programme. To give some idea of its scale, BAE Systems has released a series of time-lapse progress reports. The latest shows the first shipping class, recently named HMS Queen Elizabeth by Her Majesty herself, being floated out of dry dock in Wasyth. The dock was flooded over the course of several days before the 65,000 tonne vessel was carefully manoeuvred out over three hours with just a couple of metres clearance on each side. The carrier will remain in Lossyth, where teams will continue to fit out the ship in preparation for its handover to the Ministry of Defence for sea trials in 2016. On her journey down river to the open sea, her mast will need to be lowered to a horizontal position on deck so she can fit under the forced road bridge. HMS Queen Elizabeth really is naval technology on a royal scale. You may remember the demonstrations of the intimidating Big Dog robot by Boston Dynamics, which is now owned by Google. Big Dog has evolved and been released into the wild for a US Marines field test at the Kahuku Training Area in Hawaii. This latest pack-carrying robot is officially dubbed the Legged Squad Support System, or LS3. But the Marines have nicknamed it Kujo after Stephen King's horror novel about a rabid dog. And you have to admit, seeing it duck into the undergrowth and hide is pretty scary. However good a shot a sniper is, external factors like dust and wind can stop a bullet hitting its target. Missed shots could become a thing of the past now thanks to DARPA's new Extreme Accuracy Tasked Ordnance, or Exacto, system. DARPA recently demonstrated this first ever 50 caliber guided bullet in live fire tests. The path of the projectile can be seen diverting away from where it's aimed towards a target identified with optical sighting technology. The real-time guidance system includes gyroscopes, accelerometers and an atomic clock. But as there are no fins on the bullet, the way it changes direction mid-flight remains DARPA's secret. As every shot a sniper attempts but misses gives away his position, this could be an important way of ruling out human error. The aim of military innovation is to enhance the capabilities of servicemen and women. The Royal Navy's two new aircraft carriers will be the biggest and most technologically advanced ships it has ever deployed. And while we can't expect quadruped robots to carry Marines gear anytime soon, they will inspire new ways of relieving the burden of carrying heavy kit. An Exacto is the latest in a range of solutions to ensure shooters hit their mark every time. Join us next time to see more ways in which technology is making life easier for competence.